All right, things are progressing better now that I've got a technique down. I've got these cabinets out and I'm gonna be able to salvage that back wall and use that. So that's gonna be a plus. I need to pull this all out. I need to re-insulate it and seal that anyway. This is gonna be fairly straightforward. Again, it's just gonna be the box down here, the wheel well over here. So this set needs to come out here uh, these boxes here, but as you can see it's opening up. I have a nice bit of space. I'm going to have to add add to the ceiling. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, both there and in that back corner. Glory, what have I got myself into? <laughs> the piles are just growing and growing and growing. Uh, but I made an executive decision on the inside. All right, so I got down just a wall board and I was going to, I tried pulling out those little staples and that just wasn't going to happen. So it was just a matter of a couple bolts and those boards just dropped right off the wall. So that was, that was much simpler. So at least this way I can pull out all the old insulation, put in all new, I can bleach everything, seal all the lights, and I'm not having any surprises in the wall. The black stuff you see, that is soot. That is not mold. Uh, it's just soot from being around fires for... 13 years and so now I got the box uncovered and tomorrow I will cut that box out and then what I'm going to do is since I've done this I'm going to go ahead and take this wall down because I want to know what's going on here um I don't think it's going to be hard to do so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then this back end will be gutted and can start totally from fresh all right, so I took down the piece of wood here. It was just a thin wood. It came down pretty easy. Just so I could see everything that was going on. And I did find the source of the leak, so I'm really glad I opened it up. If you look right here, yes, that's outside. So for, they cut the hole too big. So for 14 years, water has been coming in there. Now you can't see it from the outside. So I gotta, can't say terrible things there. You really can't see it. <clears throat> so. The water came down here and discolored this wood here and worked its way down here. But here's the cool thing. So after 14 years of water leaking, no permanent damage. Uh, this, this is just some line that they did as a spacer so I could pop that off. But nothing is damaged, nothing is um, corroded, nothing is rusted. So it's wonderful having this aluminum body to work with. So next project today, so we got to get this beast out of here. And it's got the air conditioning system in it, so that's going to be a definite challenge. Um, the reason I'm taking it out is it's so deep. This thing is over three feet deep. So about four feet by three feet, so it can, get, can gain about 12 square feet of floor space by getting rid of this. And there's a lot of empty space in that air conditioner unit. So these cabinets are not that useful because they're just too deep. Now they do open to the outside, which is pretty cool, but again... It's just a whole lot of storage, but what I will be able to retain is the bottom bin. This is pretty cool. So the top two bins we can take out, this one here. Now this bin here is below floor, so I don't have to cut it out, which is going to be wonderful. I can just leave this bin completely intact. So let's get busy and start demoing this. Okay, so I got the doors out all out and then I open up the air conditioning system and it's it's not all that bad so this is the blower assembly here right here it has some nice big 12 volt blowers and then that was located up here so it it sucked the air through the front up through the blowers and out here so we have this great big great big piece right here but I think that's okay because I'll be able to cut a lot of that out and get some space and I think I'll be able to mount it behind the unit right over here and maybe vent it blowing out this way from behind it. So I think this is going to be okay. So I'm going to start cutting just piece by piece and see where I end up. Another tough day, but a good day. Um, got a good bit done. Now all this pile here, this is just today's work. Just taking that one set of cabinets out. It's quite the pile. All right, so walk around here. So now that's all opened up. I'm gonna be able to leave this as a bin down here and I'm gonna be able to use this as a floor. 
that's going to come in very handy. Now the air conditioner, this is pretty cool. So the blower unit will fit behind it real nicely. Just be able to close it up. But I'm going to have to build, tomorrow priority is to build a, a base just around this to protect it because it's very wobbly right now. And I need to cut all that out, all this out, because this is all connected. All this up in here is connected, so in order to get it out, this is real wobbly, and I don't want to break these lines. So that'll be first thing tomorrow. And then getting rid of this cabinet up here and this one down here because they are in front of the shower. So tomorrow also, the paramedic chair has to come out with its box, and that's where the inverter is. There's another cabinet which is wedged back in here. And in the bottom of that is the suction pump, so that's going to be kind of interesting. This hanging cabinet's got to come out. And here is the heart of the wiring system back here, so that's going to be a very delicate operation. This wall will have to be brought out a little bit. This is kind of cool. This is where the sliding window goes across. Let me back up and show you how much space is opening up. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it. There we go, there. I'll come back here and I'll turn around. You can see it from the other end. Stand all the way back here in the corner. We have this. Now I'm going to close up all the doors. I am saving every single screw and bolt. And these are fittings for cabinets. Um, both because I'd like to reuse some of it, it's good hardware, but also no bolts, nut screws go out in the garbage. That is a way to keep things from getting in the ground and having a flat tire. So here we are inside with everything buttoned up and closed up. Might be able to reuse some of the scrap stainless steel for the covers over the bends, but it's so difficult to work with. So that stays, and that stays. That'll be the shower. That comes out, that comes out, that comes out. And this is gonna stick out in the middle of the floor, but I'm gonna minimize it, so it'll only probably be about uh, a foot wide, maybe uh, two, two and a half deep. But it'll have to be something that stays there.